Hi, in this video I'm going to create a skin shader in Blender and introduce some techniques. I have a woman model in the scene with a couple of lights as well as textures. The textures include base color, normal, roughness and so on. I'm using Udim for the textures. Don't know about Udim? Watch this tutorial or you can find the link in the description. Let's create a new window by dragging the corner of the top right and change the window to the shader editor. Here I have an empty shader for the face and the shader type is principled BSDF. Press Z key and select material preview to see the material effect. Let's import the textures. Here I have the first style of the base color texture. RGB color is the best choice for it. But I need to change the mode from single to UDIM to import auto tiles automatically. When you use UDIM, you have to enable this option. Now the other tiles are imported. And finally, connect the texture to the base color input. Alright, my textures are 8K. If you want to achieve the best result for the skin shader, one of the main principles is the texture quality. Now I need to import the specular texture. I should import the first tile just like before. I need to change the color space. You can set it to non color or raw. I'll select non color. I need RGB mode to be active only for the base color. And select Unim just like before. In simple terms, specular refers to how light is distributed. Let's import the roughness. Change the color space to non-color and then set the option to UDEM. As you can see, there are some wet points appearing on the skin making it look more natural. Finally, let's add the normal map texture. Also do the same steps for this texture. To apply the normal map, you'll need to add a normal map node. Press Shift A and search for it. Connect the normal map texture to the color input. Good. If you zoom in, you will find that the normal quality is decreasing. You need to implement a technique to apply in the near distances. Here I have a detailed normal map. I need to combine this texture with the main normal map. We need to do the same for this texture, but there's no need to change it to UDIM. It's single. Press Shift A to add a mix color node. Connect both normal textures to the mix node and finally connect the result to the color input. It's not looking good. I need to adjust the tiling of the detail normal. Press Ctrl T to add the mapping node or you can add it manually. You can go to Edit and then Preferences and Add-ons and ensure that Node Wrangler is active. Then you can use Ctrl T. Let's scale up the texture. Now I can see the scan details when I zoom in, but I need further refinement. I need to reduce the strength of the details. Let's decrease the Mix Node Factor. It's much better. I need a math node to control the roughness. Press Shift A and search for math. And put it on multiply. Now I can easily control the roughness level. It's much better. Okay, 
Let's render the scene. Ensure that the cycles render engine is selected and GPU processing is active. And the samples are good. Press Z and select rendered. It's very good, but I need more details. Also, the lights are placed in proper positions. You can also watch the lighting techniques tutorial here. Additionally, the link is in the description. Up to this point, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's add subsurface scattering to the skin to simulate light transmission. If you're not familiar with subsurface scattering, you can watch this tutorial. To do this, I need to adjust this field and other subsurface settings. Let's start with 0.1. As you can see, the light is transmitting through the thin parts of the skin, such as the nose or air. The color is white by default. You can pick a red color that matches the skin tone. If you are using Blender 4, you might not find the subsurface color option, so don't worry about it. It will adjust automatically. The color is good, but you can connect base color texture to it instead of choosing a color for the whole face. Okay, it's better. The subsurface amount is too much. I need to reduce it a little because some areas look like plastic. Alright, it's much better and closer to the skin's natural appearance. Radius refers to the distribution of the subsurface effect. We can increase the value of the first field slightly. As you can see, the subsurface effect is spreading too much. Let's change it to 1.3. Leave the other fields of the radius as they are. Modifying them can ruin the material. Another technique that I can use is the subsurface texture. I can use a texture instead of uh, a number for it. I explained in detail about this technique in the subsurface video and you can watch it if you want. For example, in this texture, the wider areas indicate more subsurface scattering. These white areas represent the ears because they are thin, while other skin areas appear gray, indicating less subsurface scattering in those regions. Alright, drag it into the project, then adjust its attributes like you did with the other textures and connect it to subsurface field. It's excessive, but certain areas like the ears exhibit more subsurface scattering. Press Shift and A and add a math node, then put it on Multiply. You can try different values to find the best result. Thin areas look good, but I can further reduce the value again. I just need to try different values. Okay, it's much better. Okay, the next thing is sheen. It's a shiny area around the object, and I can increase it a little. If I insert 10, I might get a bad result, but I just want to show the effect of the sheen. Alright, it's better now. The last thing I need to add is displacement. I also have a full tutorial on it, which you can watch. Displacement can add more details to my model. I have a normal map, but it's not enough. Go to modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier to the face. As you can see, some areas have become very smooth. I can increase the viewport levels to add more vertices to the model. The other field, render field I mean, controls the subdivision at the render time. Now my model looks better. Now add a displace modifier to the face. Here I need press the new button and change the local option to the UV because I want to use a texture. Then I need to go to the texture section and here press open to import the displacement texture. Here I have some textures that I've exported from ZBrush and they are Udem. Let's select first tile. Make sure that Udem is selected to import other tiles automatically and set the color space to non-color. Okay, the displacement is too strong. Let's reduce the strength. Better. Then I need to increase the levels to get more subdivision. It looks better. Press Z key and go to render mode. Okay, the skin shader looks better now. It's the final result. You can use other techniques and I'll also offer them in the comments. 
thanks for watching if you enjoyed this tutorial please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments